Hey, what's up bakers? My name is Matthew James Duffy and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you about baker's percentage and three key reasons why you should know, understand, and use them. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and TikTok pages. They are full of wonderful bread baking content to help you become a better baker. I'm gonna be posting lots more demos, tips, and tricks to the YouTube channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. It's gonna help other people find me and help me grow so I can provide you with the baking content that you love. So what is baker's percentage and why do you need a math lesson to bake better bread? Well, Baker's percentage is a universal baking language used to scale, calculate, and develop formulas. It's also really gonna help you and other bakers troubleshoot your formulas. It's also gonna allow you to make small incremental changes and small improvements to your bread so that you can have better, more consistent bakes, whether you're making bread, pizza, or any other leavened products. Now, I know you didn't want a math lesson when you came to learn about baking, but this is really important. There's only a couple things you need to know, and I'm gonna break them down for you in this video. It becomes important when you get into other breads, other grains, changing the formulas, you wanna add inclusions. By having an understanding of baker's percentage, you'll really be able to knock it out of the park. So before we get started in today's lesson, the three keys of understanding Baker's percentage are, it's gonna allow you to work with more precision and consistency. It'll simplify your scaling up and down. Most importantly, number three, you're gonna share a common Baker's language. Now, when you're talking to other Bakers in other countries, other cities, it's so much easier to break down a percentage. Often I'm sent recipes and I'm asked, what's wrong with this formula? Without even looking at it, as soon as you see the percentage, you have a general understanding of what type of bread it is, how it's being made, and what the general outcome or goal of that bread is. So let's watch the video now. It's gonna show you how you can calculate baker's percentage. For more information, check out my blog. I've got a full guide and I'm in the process of adding an actual baker's percentage dough calculator. So all you need to do is type in your ingredients or type in your percentage and it's gonna calculate the formulas for you. So let's get started. We are gonna talk a little bit about baker's percentage. What is it, how to use it and how to calculate it. So. Essentially, baker's percentage is a universal baker's language used to calculate, scale, and adjust bread baking formulas. It's really going to help you become a better baker by understanding some fundamentals. By understanding baker's percentage, you'll be easily able to make small changes that you can track to help you improve your baking. You'll also be able to do cool things like inclusions and other fun stuff. When using baker's percentage, each ingredient is given a percentage based on the flour weight and the total flour is equal to 100%. Key reasons for using baker's percentage are, it allows you to work with more precision, it simplifies scaling formulas up and down, and it shares a common baker's language. The ability to share a common baker's language really helps us communicate with other bakers easily and helps us quickly troubleshoot by seeing the percentage breakdown. Now, let's take a quick look at and learn how to calculate baker's percentage quickly and accurately. So we have three tables here, ingredient, weight, and percentage. In the first one, we're gonna write down the ingredients of a standard loaf of bread, flour, water, salt, and sourdough starter. So we have four ingredients. Let's use 100, Sorry, let's use a thousand grams of flour so that we can calculate the formula easily. So as we know, flour is equal to 100%. So a thousand grams of flour would be 100%. So then if we look at our next example, water 800 grams. In order to calculate the percentage, we're gonna divide that by a thousand and times by 100 to give us 80%. We're gonna do the same with salt and same with sourdough starter to give us 22 and followed by 20%. So now that you know the baker's percentage, you can quickly find valuable information about this bread. For example, we know the hydration was 80%. 
We're gonna look now at how to calculate weights from percentages. So let's look at a recipe for potato and rosemary sourdough bread. Potato and rosemary sourdough bread. Ingredient, weight, and percentage. So for this one, we have a few more ingredients and we're just gonna list them out here. Flour, water, salt, sourdough starter, cooked potatoes, and rosemary. We know that flour is equal to 100%. And I'm giving you the percentages here. So water is 80%, salt is 2%, sourdough starter 20, cooked potato 35, and rosemary is 1.5%. So let's say we have a given 2,000 grams of flour because we know we've got 2,000 grams of flour. How do we calculate the rest of it? We're gonna divide the percentage by 100 to get a decimal, then multiply it by the flour weight. So let's take a look at the breakdown and go through the entire formula. We're just gonna write that out really quickly. So we've got ingredients, we've got our percentage, we've got our divide, 100%, multiply by, and our final weight. So now we're gonna write this in really quickly. We're gonna fill this out, and I'm just gonna show you how easy this can be. So we know flour is 100%. We're gonna divide that by 100% because that's the flour, multiply it by 2,000, sorry, because that's the flour, to give us 2,000 grams. Now we're gonna say 80% water, as was in the final formula, divided by 100 times 2,000 gives us 1,600 grams. Do the same for the salt. 2% divided by 100%, multiply by 2,000, gives us 40 grams of salt. Sourdough starter, 20% divided by 100, multiplied by 2,000, is going to give us 400 grams of sourdough starter. Cooked potato, 35% divided by 100%, multiplied by 2,000 to give us 700 grams of weight. And finally, with the rosemary, we've got 1.5% divided by 100% times 2,000 to give us 30 grams of rosemary. And so this is how you can calculate those weights. Understanding Baker's percentage will not only save you time, but it's also gonna help you become a more versatile baker. It's really gonna give you consistency and it's gonna help your baking. I hope that video was helpful and it taught you a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, check out my blog for a little bit more detailed information. You can also find full formulas, percentage breakdowns, and a lot of recipe content there. If you like this channel and this content, subscribe, hit the like button, and help me grow. Thank you so much and happy baking.